Bleed black and gold, buff forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know T Green, and I'm back with another one. With DJ Lundy headed back to FSU, it's only right we go out and try to recruit some more linebackers. And I said in my last video, to me, that is one of our weakest points. Is that linebacker with big dog Levante Bentley? Like Big dog going to need somebody to be on that side with him. Now, New Mexico State, Nikhil Webb Walker has transferred to Colorado. Now, he's an outside linebacker, inside linebacker, and he is a huge monster. Six, six, 240 pounds, y'all. And he ain't no slow dude. He could work either side of the field, which is great because we need somebody who could get out there in coverage. Now, with that being said, we still trying to figure out who will be our defensive coordinator. And with this dude being 6'6", 240 pounds, I think I may like to see him come off that edge. Now, he going to have to fight for a position to get some of this playing time, you know, if he moved down to the defensive end front. Or he may stay at the linebacker. You know, we could use him in both ways. Like, I, I could really see the agile of this dude just looking at a few clips of what I see here online. But, you know, things may change. Right now, he's a linebacker. So, that's what we recruited him as. Let's see, you know, what happens. While out at New Mexico State, he racked up 24 tackles. Five of those was for losses. He had three sacks last season. So he did pretty decent. You know, he won like some chunk change, you know, getting one or two tackles here and there and, you know, not really producing. So he did his thing. He was part of the 2022 recruiting class out of Bridging and Academy. That's way up there in Maine. So, you know, playing up here in that cold weather won't be nothing to bruh. So, hey, I like to see what he do out here. Now, like like I said, will he be playing linebacker or will they move him down to defensive end? I don't know. This big dude, 6'6", 240 pounds. Just imagine when he would get with Coach Mo. He probably going to get another 10 to 15 pounds of muscle on him. And guess what, y'all? We got him for the next three years. So this is somebody who we could mold into a, a, a straight beast. You know what I mean? So let's see what kind of player he is, you know. With that being said, like I said, with DJ Lande, uh going back to FSU, man, we got to replace him. We got to have some dogs at this line back a position the portal opens up for uh alabama no not alabama um yeah the portal opened up for alabama nick saban since we know he's retired and uh also i want to see what a few of those players from washington do with their head coach now going down to uh alabama to be the head coach so things gonna get interesting i think d young gonna be able to snag up a few a lot of y'all been getting down in the comment section saying who we should go after so hey man y'all keep it going man so we could keep trying to identify who we should try to pick up you know because if alabama could give us some of those linebackers like i said that'd be nice maybe Maybe one or two dogs on the defensive side, that'd be great, you know? And I think we'll have a nice roster going into this 2024 season, boy. I'm telling you, the Big 12 going to have a lot to worry about if we get a few more pieces to this puzzle. Right now, we got enough pieces right now where we should be in some bowl games, but we trying to go further than that, though. So, hey, let's just keep our eyes and ears open, baby, and you already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm going to be right back with another one.